Hey everyone, and welcome to the fourth episode in my Dungeon Jump tutorial series. Kind of a crazy series because last episode I talked about being blocked. In this episode, I'm going to be talking about being unblocked. If you're excited, then don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and also drop a comment down below. But without further ado, let's get into this tutorial. So as you can see here, I am unblocked. I can go to my profile and look at this. I'm on my profile and right here in my My Stuff. I have my Dungeon Jump, so I can click See Inside, and boom, this is the completed project. This project will be shared and you can find the link to it in the description down below. You can actually go into this project and use all of the art, and you can look through all of the code and copy it if you would like. Because I'm kind of behind schedule and I don't have time to finish this series, I'm going to be moving on, but don't worry, it will be shared like I said. I'm going to start in the player here. This is the main game loop, and this is a little bit different from where we made it into the tutorial, but it's not far off. This repeat 20 right here is this little flip animation coming up. This is is the main movement and this will happen until the game over is true and then this repeat 25 times is once the game over is equal to true it will follow the player for a little bit then it will broadcast game over now if we go ahead and use this find broadcast game over first of all it hides when the game over the cinema bars the ui which is a brand new sprite creates a bunch of clones with different ids and then those clones all have these unique scripts to make them all work and then it broadcasts cast game over score so that will initialize the score in the game over so in game over score we have a brand new text engine in the numbers that will show the score and there is a cool little animation that will play on the when i receive game over score that will change the score by ceiling and all that stuff and that will make the score wind up i have 31 score and when i get game over it will wind up to 31 for the shop system it's actually pretty simple so first of all we have this list called skins unlocked so basically if we have the correct name in that it will be unlocked as you can see here in the very beginning right now default is unlocked and that is the name of this now there's one called white and if we go ahead and add white to skins unlocked as you can see if we scroll over to white it is now playable in the ui we have a button that is the play button and it checks if the skins unlocked contains the current costume name of the player if it does then it'll switch to the play costume and then check if we're clicking and if so broadcast game loop otherwise it will switch costume to buy and it will and it will check if our current money which is just the variable that keeps track of our money is greater than item player costume that is the costume number of the player of skin prices which is a list i'll get into a second minus one so that means we have enough money to buy it then it'll change the money by that times negative one so it'll get rid of our coins now in the numbers we have on this title screen ui right here we check if skin unlock contains the costume name of player then we print nothing otherwise we print the current cost now the current cost comes from the skin prices so as you can see here for each skin we add a price to skin prices so the first one is zero the second one is five third one's 15 so that's the slime and so on and so forth in this forever loop we set the current cost to item player costume of skin prices and we switch costume to player costume you may be wondering we use this player costume all over so what is it so basically it's just starts at one and if we click to the right it will go to two then three then four then five and then six and back to one and that is controlled in this skin scroll loop right here as you can see when i receive skin scroll which happens in the ui when we click it'll scroll in the correct direction and then do an animation then over here it checks if the player costume is over the amount of skins we have then it'll set it back to the first one and then vice versa here then for the costume we switch costume to player costume so say it's one it will switch costume to default and then when we go to the left we want to switch to the left costume so we switch costume to the player costume plus the length of skin prices so the length of skin prices is six so if we go ahead and do that it's one two three four five six and that is the left side as you can see no matter what it will always work here is all of the code for the player here's all of the scripts for the platforms all of the scripts for the particles all the scripts for the bg the cinema bars the ui which i can't fit on screen so i'll slowly scroll down this is the main clone loop that keeps track of all of the different 
different clones, the numbers, the coins numbers, and then last but not least, the actual coins themselves. Now, this is going to be extremely hard to copy all this code from this video, so I highly recommend to check out the link in the description. Now, how would you go about adding your own skin? Well, it's actually extremely, extremely simple because of the system I've set up. To add a new skin, all you need to do is go to the last skin, which right now is Cookie, and I'm just going to duplicate it so it goes right there, and I'm going to name this test for the skin name. Now, I'm going to make a circle, another circle, so that way we can see the direction. And now, I'm going to duplicate that and put that at the bottom here. So, that's test two. And then, I'm going to flip it horizontally. So, that is the left side. Now, in this loop right here, I need to add the price to it. I'll make this one dollar. So, I'll add one to skin prices. And now, as you can see, if we go ahead and scroll to the very end, here we go. There's our skin for one dollar. I'm going to go ahead and start the game and set my money to a number. And I'm going to scroll all of the way. I can buy it. There we go. It takes one coin. Now, if I play, you can see that all of the sprite flipping and all of that stuff works. One piece I did miss is the scrolling. It's actually very simple. So I showed this piece, which just sets the player costume to the costume number plus one. And if scroll directions L, it'll set it to the costume number minus one. And in the UI, I have these arrows right here, which are these two arrows. And they have all the usual movement script, so you can hover over them. But then if we are clicking on them, it will set these in direction to R for the right one and broadcast skin scroll and rate and in the other arrow too it'll set it to L and broadcast skin scroll and wait so basically that is the whole system for my shop so thank you all so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this episode if you did then make sure to hit the like button and consider subscribing anyway this has been Owen and I am out